Professor Liu is going to teach you to uh, Excel the module 3, 21 Excel module 3. When you go to the same and download Excel module 3, this is a word file, Great Midwestern Insurance. So you are going to work with formulas and functions. For this assignment, you're going to uh, role play as an insurance agent. Uh, Brad Tao, uh, I say Tao is an insurance agent uh, for the Great Midwestern Insurance in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He's analyzing the invoice he has sent clients and the sales he created, uh, generated in the third quarter of the year. He asked you to help him to complete the uh, analysis. So we are going to start with your uh, Excel and you are going to uh, look at this um, instruction sheet by yourself. So uh, the Excel sheet is on Number one, first, you have to save as number two. So save as. And you want it to go to the same folder. Okay. And save as number two. <coughs> so that's started. Okay. Uh, Excel has many different sheets. The first sheet is, is the introduction sheet. Uh, according to the, uh, so we are going to go to the first sheet. It's called to go. It's called client invoice. Let's go to the first sheet right now. Add your client invoice sheet at the B three. B three. All right. So we want you uh, a type of day. It's today's day, but it's not actually today's day. It's the uh, the program's day. Today's day. So uh, you know. All right, so we're going to type like that way, okay? Once we type that way right now, and we are going to uh, calculate the other thing right here. So uh, we are going to go to F right here. So F, we are going to calculate uh, how long is this contract right now. So assuming today is current day is June 1st, 2021, okay? So uh, this contract, is uh, issued on this invoice date. So makes sense will be uh, from uh, your current day minus this date. So I'm going to do this right now, current day and minus uh, this, this date. When you do first, first one public okay, but you drag down, it will be all mistake. So let me tell you why. Because uh, Excel has the uh, embedded uh, uh, function that will drag, drag it down, continue update the row and the sheet, row and the formula for the row. So this one, you see the row is B4 right now, but you actually don't want that. You actually want it to be, uh, you really want it to be uh, this always. So this is uh, uh, B3 minus B. Six, B three minus B seven, B three minus B eight. So in order to do that, I have to do it one more time. And when I do B three, I'm going to press F four, F four. When I press F four, you will see this has a uh, absolute uh, uh, symbol pop up, and minus uh, B six, B six. Oh, sorry, B six. So I press Enter, then I drag it down. Now the dates are correct right now. All right, so now we have the correct range right here and we'll continue go to G right now, okay? So in the G right here, you notice this, okay? So the invoice uh, issue date is March 15. A due date is March, uh, April 14. All right, so and but today is uh, June 1st. So really, this one is overdue, okay? And so we are going to, as a business, you need to figure out who is overdue, who is not overdue. For this, and so over 30 days overdue. So
So we're going to learn use a function right here. So here we're going to use a function uh, to calculate, you know, how many days are overdue or who is not overdue. Like these are not overdue. So the overdue, so more than 40, more than 30, I'm sorry, more than 30 days is the overdue. Less than 30, no overdue. So that's zero. So the way we do is we're going to go to a formula and we're going to go logic and we're going to go if. All right, so I drag this right now. So if I'm going to click on this day. All right, so if this day uh, is greater than 30, so put greater than 30. That day is greater than 30. All right, so uh, then uh, the age of overdue, we're going to calculate the age of overdue. So that will be then your age of overdue is that subtract uh, 30 because 30 is the day grace for grace for days. Now if, if that's not the case, your overdue is zero. So one more time is the and hit OK. All right, so we do that, then uh, we are going to uh, drag this down right now. All right, so so we finish the uh, uh, days of overdue. Now we're going to do this. We're going to email these people. Okay, going to email these people and you know keep a good uh, connection with all, all these people. We do this. Okay, so we're going to email you to give you a warning. Okay, say hey you are overdue right now. But when oh we also don't want to over disturb our customers so uh, these are the rules okay um, in case uh, you are overdue okay in case you are overdue and also y your amount is actually <clears throat> go over than one thousand dollars then I'm going to send you an email okay so we come right here right now then we do something else we do end so logic and okay so and is this right now okay so overdue right here is actually greater than zero okay that's overdue now and the invoice and the invoice amount right here is actually greater than 1000 in this both situation here all right so we are going to uh, send you a uh, email otherwise you don't get the email so for example this person don't get the email okay um, so uh, why this person don't get the email the overdue 48 days now the reason is uh, the amount is less than one thousand dollars okay so we finish this one and we continue to work okay so based on this we we really want to give our customer customer we need to understand our customers okay give our customer a, a b c d so we know who are the good customer then we may give them a discount so right here so next step is we're going to rate our customer by a b c right now all right, so how do we rate that? How do we rate that? So first of all, your overdue is less than one, you're a good customer. So A, okay. Your overdue is less than 30, B. Otherwise you get C. All right, so we are going to do this. And we are going to do like this. First we, so this one you have nested if. You have if and inside if, all right. So let me have my magnify class pop out, okay? Hopefully this help you. So I'm going to do this right now, all right? 
so I still click on larger and if statement it's okay so let me do this right now so um, first I do a okay if your due date okay is less than one less than one okay so if your due date is less than one okay you got the a okay then that's it okay all right so your due date is less than one you got the a but it's not finished yet because i have to get another one so inside here i make sure my cursor is after that a and put a comma here it's okay put a comma here then let's pull another if statement so if all right so if uh, otherwise your due date is less is due date is less than 30 yeah less than 30 and these guys you gotta be okay well, at least you have okay customer if not I'm going to give you a C all right so check this right now so if you less than 30 it is okay you know at least that's you know over 30 days and let's do okay so now so after this obvious uh, uh, Miguel is a C because uh, due how many days overdue 48 days okay all right so based on that we get our customer uh, ABC now okay so we gave our customer an ABC then we're going to decide hmm who get a discount so next time I'm going to send you a discount because you've been a good customers so who are the good customer okay by this way go to right here who are the good customer the good customer will be this your rate is an A okay and you did not receive a warning email okay your rate is an A and you did not receive a warning email uh, means you are a good customer it's okay so I'm going to do this right now whether I give you a discount or not so I still go into the logic and I'm going to go to or or all right so I do the same thing right here and right okay first your rating okay equal and a so that's a good customer all right your rating equal and a or your email equal to false okay so you did not receive a warning email then this case I'll give you a discount otherwise you don't get discount so based on that I will give a discount to uh, Jayun and I'll give a discount to Alex and Anna okay we haven't finished yet so we're coming back right here and we're going to say that uh, going to uh, uh, okay now we're going to keep track the month here okay so we are going to go to D6 to D15 Oh, hold on we're going to do here okay so this uh, next one we, we really want to do the total okay um, then uh, so first we do the sum right here okay so auto sum here auto sum here okay sum uh, sum and is this guy from here to here it's okay now we sum right here okay first press enter okay now and then we want to run it we want it to run it to uh, zero decimal place okay so on this formula here before that I'm going to go another one and this one is mathematic okay it's wrong mm. oh it's wrong okay so
so I'm going to round this uh, here and uh, to uh, zero decimal place so I'm coming back right here sorry all right so I'm going to first of all have to do this okay and uh, then I'm going to put round here all right and round to uh, zero decimal place okay so let me check this so I'm going to run this sum and to zero decimal place okay so they will round it up so to the dollars value okay we haven't finished yet okay so um, let's go to B6 to B11 Uh, we are going to go to quarter three cells okay uh, oh okay I think I made a mistake here I have this one control X this one is right here all right that's a total amount and total invoice and you are do right here you're do right here say count how many okay so you say uh, count numbers count numbers and for here and so that's so 10 invoices total amount is that okay so that's one sheet let's go to another sheet okay so we're going to go another sheet right here another sheet right here first of all we're going to get all this number okay to be accounting so we go to go back to home it's okay and the number here make sure that's accounting number so you have a dollar sign and thousand separator and then we are going to um, calculate the each amount of the each amount of these each amount of these and uh, uh, is how many percent so automobile is how many percent of total and uh, something like that so we are coming back right here okay once we click it here look here it's already have if error that means um, uh, if I have divide by zero I'm going to incorrect so inside here I'm going to create formula so so this is a very good uh, way you need to learn to avoid divide by zero because it may be the in case you have nothing you may divide by zero so what you're going to do is each month each month okay so this amount and it's divide divide slash divide by that total but the total will be always the same total right here so you need to put absolute address so that's f4 right here all right so once you do that and you finish so i'm oh, sorry so right here let me see okay and Oh, we're going to pull like this and press enter all right all right so sorry I, I I need to go back right here so we are going to do I didn't do it correctly so this one okay then divide by divide by this one it's so, okay then press F4 okay and let me double check I have this inside then uh, I, when I finish I press enter okay now I'm okay right now so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag everything down right here all right so that's a, a percentage for the cells okay so for this one one more time right here uh, you pull like this way uh, you can take out these parentheses I don't think you you need it I don't think you need the parentheses okay uh, but it's just for uh, make it more clear that's all that's make it more clear okay so um, these finish your uh, Excel 21 uh, I hope you enjoy this video make sure you save it and upload it okay